With so many pieces in place for a sequel and the show's success, fans should expect a continuation. Wednesday is among the best new shows on Netflix, so a second season should definitely be approved. You've come to the right place if you've personally suffered from the new Wednesday series, specifically if you need Netflix to confirm the release date for season 2. With 400 million hours watched in its first week, the show managed to surpass Stranger Things in just under a month, overtaking it to become the streamer's most watched English language series in that time. To say that the Addams Family spin-off has skyrocketed to top-tier status is an understatement. Directed by Tim Burton, the first season follows Wednesday Addams as she's sent to Nevermore Academy, a boarding school of supernatural outcasts. The main plot of Wednesday Season 1 involves a title character figuring out how to fit in at her new school while attempting to solve a murder that happened 30 years ago and affected her parents Morticia and Gomez Adams. Even though the series centers on Jenna Ortega's Wednesday coming-of-age tale, the iconic Adams family's eerie members play a crucial role in the murderous plot. Although Tyler was revealed to be the Hyde monster and Miss Thornhill aka Laurel Gates to be the vengeful outcast killer in Wednesday Addams Season 1, the Season 1 finale of Wednesday hints that there's still more story to be told. As Jenna Ortega's gothic character has already made enemies through her murder investigation, Wednesday's Season 1 finale makes her sure to leave a few burning questions unanswered and loose ends untied. The season concludes on an unsettlingly satisfying note with many unanswered questions. Xavier hands Wednesday a phone as a thank you for saving his life and assisting him in proving his innocence, while Tyler is driven away in an armed vehicle, but just as the credits begin to roll, Wednesday's phone begins to light up with mysterious messages from an unknown contact, which sends her pictures and threatens her safety. Tyler begins his transformation back into Hyde in the passing truck, where Tyler and Laurel Gates merely pieces in a larger game. Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? Our gothic protagonist wonders aloud, Wednesday's novel may be finished, but her lethal adventures are just getting started. The series appears to have been well received, so a second season should be on the way. But what surprises await us? We're getting that Benson title next year, so don't let killing one supernatural pilgrim get to your head. Netflix has not yet announced a renewal for Wednesday season 2. Netflix does not, however, usually give new shows multiple seasons right away. Additionally, because Wednesday isn't being adapted from a book or other work of media with an established multi-season schedule, the renewal status of the series will largely depend on its initial success. While a specific date for the release of Netflix's Wednesday Season 2 has not been set, the streaming service typically renews shows three months after the Season 1 premiere. As a result, it can be anticipated that Wednesday Season 2 renewal news will come sometime this year. If Tim Burton returns for Wednesday Season 2, it'll be the first time he has directed a sequel to one of his projects since 1992's Batman Returns. As a result, the premiere of Wednesday Season 2 is anticipated to occur at the latest in November 2023, though it may be delayed to a spooky winter premiere. Before we go any further, we want to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. In terms of the cast, it's unimaginable that Wednesday and her right-hand man, Thing, will not return for Season 2. So we hope that Ortega and Victor Dorban's thing will be willing to reprise their roles. Naturally, we should anticipate seeing her roommate Enid, Eugene, and undoubtedly her family as well. Percy Hine White's portrayal of Xavier Thorpe, who she almost fell in love with, will undoubtedly be joining her. Rejected but not forgotten, the unfortunate guy might have a chance now that Tyler's no longer involved. Or is he? Wednesday's sort of boyfriend turned villain was in custody when we last saw him, but something tells us that his guttural growl at the end may have signaled a breakout. If that's the case, we can expect Hunter Doohan to return to his Hyde persona for Season 2. However, we lost Principal Weens, Miss Thornhill, and Dr. Kinbot at the end of Season. In addition to the mayor and Rowan who passed away earlier, Tyler is still alive and may or may not have escaped from police custody. I suppose that just makes room for more new characters in Season 2. As mentioned before, Ortega should be back, but for the second season of the show, creators Alfred Guff and Miles Miller might be able to recruit some other endearing characters from the Addams Family movies of the 1990s. Do we dare to imagine John Cusack as the new headmaster in season two? Things fingers are crossed. If he tries anything, we have a school full of gorgons, vampires, and werewolves. Ready and waiting. Wednesday will struggle with a new stalker, which appears to be season two's main conflict, Everything at Nevermore seemed to be back to normal after revealing Tyler to be the monster, or at least as normal as things could be at a school for outcasts with powers. However, right before Wednesday was scheduled to leave Nevermore for a break, she started receiving texts from an unknown number that seemed to suggest that she was being stalked. Instead of being terrified, Wednesday seemed intrigued to investigate the new mystery. The audience is supposed to accept the ambiguity surrounding her stalker, Tyler, who was shown changed and barely unconscious 
At almost the exact moment when Zay received the text, appears to be the only person who cannot be the stalker. Since Xavier was visible in one of the stalker's photos, it's most likely not him too, given that one of the photos was taken inside Nevermore, where an outcast, or more specifically a normie would stand out, the stalker is probably an outcast in the Nevermore community. Her presence at Nevermore in Season 1 was one of Wednesday's biggest changes. Wednesday was genuinely upset when she was expelled, though she had initially intended to escape. It stands to reason that Wednesday will be welcomed back if she decides to return, even though this expulsion may not have been lifted due to the greater urgency of rebuilding Nevermore. You certainly had a very interesting educational journey. Eight schools in five years. Xavier questioned Wednesday about her plans after giving her a new phone at the end of Wednesday Season 1, but Wednesday made no response in words or body language. But Wednesday will almost certainly be back at Nevermore when the new term starts. Given the friends she made and the fact that her stalker is ostensibly a member of the Nevermore Jericho community. Some people might be surprised by Ortega's assertion that Wednesday wasn't sinister enough in Season 1, given all of her sinister dialogue and morbid interests. Going into Wednesday Season 2, the involvement of gothic filmmaker Tim Burton and Ortega's desire to explore Wednesday's darker sides should continue to provide an excellent balance for the show. The key to unlocking more of Wednesday's darkness in Season 2 may lie in Ortega's interpretation that her desire to solve the murders was motivated by a competitive instinct rather than a natural desire to help others. Even though Ortega doesn't necessarily want Wednesday to turn evil, Season 2 may support her suspicion that she isn't always acting to benefit others. However, she's willing to do so if doing so allows her to embrace her darkness. Wednesday Season 2 should lean more on this idea to turn the character into an anti-hero rather than an outright hero. Wednesday's expulsion from her first already demonstrated the character can show profound care for others while still engaging in shocking and ghastly actions. If the plot of the show develops as Ortega hopes, Wednesday Season 2 will have to navigate Wednesday's deepening darkness and find a way to prevent her from being banished from Nevermore as expulsion has been repeatedly shown to be a result of her actions. And because of this, you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Fortunately, the school for outcasts is more than capable of handling her, and depending on who takes over as principal, after Principal Weems passing, he or she might even support Wednesday's tenacious nature. Wednesday will probably start looking into who her enigmatic stalker is in Season 2, a search that could take an overtly ominous turn if the character is motivated more by curiosity and a desire for revenge than by caution. See you in the next video.